the exhaust. Yep, it's stuck on the exhaust right now. So first little issue here, guys, my exhaust sits too low and it was actually hitting on the Mustang Dyno. So we'll have to, uh, we're putting boards down right now to adjust that. Alright guys, so what he's doing right now, he's going to start the car up and we're going to align the car. guys finally holding boost too sorry i've been talking here much but you guys saw a couple pulls there uh it's finally holding boost with the powerhouse racing manifold and if you guys i've got another car back here i shouldn't say i have there's another car back here getting tuned right now uh but the car finally holds boost well if you guys know my car just wouldn't hold boost and now it is uh he just did a pull there to like seven grand and it held 14 psi perfectly um so i'm pretty freaking happy right now so far so good 85 sensor works everything's good the only issue we really had is the exhaust being so damn big if you guys can see here it was quite close we actually had to move the car further over on the dyno just because the exhaust sat so low so i can't get it up any tighter and closer to the body than that so it is what it is but john was able to work around it and everything's good so far god sorry again guys if you guys can't hear me but everything seems to be fine i'm pretty freaking happy right now
guys. Sorry, it's loud as shit in there. Uh, I'm trying to record as much as I can. I'm not sure what we've got so far. So on the 93 there, we're at like 540 to the wheels because we're on the Mustang Dyna, which is like almost, it seems like 100 less, but it's not on the Dyna pack, which reads really low. If I put it on a Dyna jet, you'll see a difference. Next up, we're going to get 85. Uh, we're actually going to go fill up another jug, so we put 10 gallons in it. Uh, John's currently dumping out all the old 93. Uh, so we're gonna walk over to Sheets, the best gas station on earth, to get some more fuel. Debatable. Oh, come on. Another black soup. Oh yeah, I don't know who this is. Like, I've never seen another one up here. I have no idea who it is. Hopefully someone watching this video knows the person, but it's a clean ass car. Yeah, I cut through here earlier. Just go right to the car wash. All right guys, we're gonna get some fuel here. I love the fact it's so much cheaper. Like it's insane. Race gas for the cheapest car. What we got? Oh, 239. Yeah, man. It's kind of fun messing with these cameras because they're so smooth. Like, you, you can just be so crazy with it. Please dispense that. Alright guys, so just dumped out the 93, pull it up to the return line there, just pull it over into a pail, it's all dumped out now. Now we're going to switch over to E85. So I am back at the house now. Um, we had to cut things a little short. So what happened was the clutch. The clutch gave out. Uh, when I mean it gave out, it still works. I just drove the car like, I guess I drove the much from back. That's probably like 110 miles. The car does fine. And on 93, the clutch actually did really well. But on 85, it just can't hold. It just spun. Um, so I'm going to be taking that out. Uh, I'm going to put it up for sale because, again, like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. It just doesn't hold the power I need. And I don't want to force it and ruin it, put a hot spot on the clutch and then have it actually ruined. So I'm gonna sell the clutch flywheel, all the lines. So if anyone's interested, I'm looking for a thousand bucks for it. It retails for 2,400. I know it's a clutch, so I know you can't even get remotely back what you have for it. So it's already seated and good to go. So if you have a T56 Magnum and you want a clutch that you just need to drive the car, you're not looking more to make, to make more than 650 or 600 horsepower, this would be perfect for you. 
Uh, I'll rip it out this weekend, uh, and then I'm going to get a new twin disc. Now, I don't want to reveal which twin disc yet, uh, but once it gets here, I'll show you guys that. We'll do a full install video, how to measure it, and how to go about installing it. I will say I am going to get a Tilton Master Cylinder this time around. Um, the factory one I have actually is really nice, very nice and smooth, but because it's not adjustable, I'm having a long travel for the clutch pedal. So it's a lot of clutch pedal room to get the same amount of stroke to move the uh, throw up bearing. With a Tilton, it's stronger and it allows you to do more. So I'm having one of those installed, or I'm saying I'll be installing one of those. Uh, the car made around 540, 550 wheel horsepower on the Mustang Dyno. Uh, which reads very, very, very low. It'd be 600 plus on a Dynajet and probably on the Dyna Pack. It'd probably be the same as last time around 650. It's a big, big difference, um, which is, I didn't realize it was that much of a difference, but obviously it is because, I mean, literal 93 is no different from last time. Um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the car is revving out now, holding boost perfectly, which makes me super happy. Uh, it was able to hold 14 PSI the whole way up to Redline. We were just doing it as a test. As soon as you told it, 14 PSI, I literally, came up, peaked, and just flatlined the whole way out to 7,500 RPMs where we had redline set at. Car did great. Another thing I wanted to mention, John had said like the cams, he said he loved them. I'm not sure what about them. He's like the car just ramped up really smoothly. If you guys saw that in the dyno, the car just kicked on so nice and smooth, uh, which has a lot to do with the tuner, the turbo, the cams, all that good stuff. But like you see the graph, like it doesn't look like a journal bearing turbo when it kicks on. Like it's very gradual. It comes on very smooth, very nice. Uh, it's not like the old school journal bearing turbos when they are like an on off switch. All of a sudden it's like, ah, uh, this comes on very nice, almost like a um, dual ball bearing. Not quite as smooth, obviously, but it's there. The car drives fine. Uh, I'm gonna have to have it tweaked a little bit because the car was warm when we tuned for 85. So obviously cold start's not ideal. Typical with 85, you should really leave the car there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is send him a couple logs. Uh, I'm gonna actually put the AM USB in it. So this holds up to I think 32 or 64 gigs of data on it. This plugs right into the ECU itself. This is what you use the data log. Um, it's kind of nice, so you can remove it if need be. You don't have to plug your uh, laptop into it. You can just pull this out, then give it to them. Um, makes it kind of nice. So John already set it up that I think after 1500 RPMs, uh, it kicks on, starts logging, then kicks off once you go below that, etc. Um, so yeah, pretty excited. So guys, please stay tuned. I will have more for you here. Uh, we'll take it back up to the dyno to finish off the ED5. Um, the new twin disc will help. I mean, there, it won't slip now, no matter what. Uh, pretty much the last weak point besides the fuel system, which we were having to crank up fuel pressure, which I knew we were going to have to do to make up for the 1000 cc injectors. We have it up to 55 PSI base pressure right now. Right now. Uh, what we're most likely going to have to do is swap those out. I'm talking to South Bay Injectors and FIC Fuel Injector Clinic uh, currently. Um, about getting some injectors for the car. I will have to put a second Marlboro fuel pump in it and then I'll most likely need a, I mean, I could use this factory pump, but what I'm gonna do is have a radium or powerhouse racing uh, uh, in tank set up, done to it, and then fuel filter, etc. cetera, um, all that good stuff. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Which, what would you recommend? What are your ideas? I love hearing feedback from you guys because I get a lot of people now reading the comments all the time. I'm trying to read every single one of them. You know, people are like, you should try this or do that. Give me your guys' ideas. I love feedback. I want to hear your opinions, your ideas. That's how this channel works. All right, guys, and on that note, thank you very much for tuning in today. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm beyond happy right now. Hopefully get some big numbers out of the car soon. You guys know what to do. Go check out the Facebook and Instagram. Also, please go check out the website. We've got new hats on there. We've got key tags, sweatshirts, all sorts of good stuff. Thank you guys very much, and I'll talk to you later. Peace.